My name is Brian, and welcome back to Desert Theory. Okay, so last week we got the transaxle out, we drained the oil, we cut the filter open, we saw the bearing flakes in there, and we decided we needed a little bit of expert advice. So we brought in one of our friends, Seth Anderson. He builds racing engines and he lives here in town. Uh, had him kind of look at some of that oil and the filter with us and he he totally thought that we should get this thing pulled out of here. So um, Kelly started some of it the other night. I went to a basketball game, so we're part way through it. Um, within the first few minutes, Kelly, it, it just made sense that we were doing this. So Kelly pulled out the headers and you can see the headers have cracked where they've cracked before. So we found an issue that was going to be a problem. And the reason that's a problem is the engine starts running a little funny. And we actually had this happen on um, our Baja bug when we had a, a Ford motor in it. And when that exhaust leak started, it poured out right onto a spark plug wire, burned the spark plug wire in half, turned our four cylinder into a three cylinder. And all of a sudden <laughs> we were having to push the car up hills. So everything can go south real quick. Yeah, so we got all the coolant drained. We got the coolant lines removed. So now we're just working on fuel. We're gonna do, um, we're gonna get the, the power steering pump off. Um, probably the alternator. Just so we can come out of here easier. Cause it's just all tight. And then disconnect a few of the oil, all the oil lines and everything and then it should come out pretty easy okay so you can see there's a bunch of oil lines to disconnect there's just a bunch of stuff that's clear back in here and it's going to be really hard to video My side, you're clear. Okay, hold that. Okay. We're gonna wanna come up. I'm kind of getting into this guy here. Okay. Fourth row, we have. Come on, baby. We're running out of hydraulic flu <laughs> fluid. It's a common. That we roll. It is how this thing rolls. Let it rest for a minute and maybe it'll decide that it wants to. I guess we should have probably checked this thing for. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's about maxed out. We probably should have extended this out a little more. Stay there, we'll bounce it. It's gonna come, come, come out of here. Hold on a second. Okay. Okay, so it's been a crazy night getting this motor out of here for the first time. We've fought a few things. We've seen some things, we've found some things on the motor that we don't love and uh, kind of go through a few of those right here. So there's just some interesting, some interesting gaskets, spacers, everything on the backside of that water pump. Um, this belt doesn't appear that it was the right size maybe. So it kind of sat down in here. You can see how it, it actually kind of ate a little bit of a groove into here. So that's not great. Cause that's gonna 
kind of try and damage all the new belts we put on it but we'll have to look and see how bad that is it's definitely noticeable there and then this little issue here so the water pump kind of hits on all the crank firing position you can actually you can kind of hear it rubbing so both of these are going to be spinning and that's just too close if I can get a camera around to the back side here I don't know if I you can actually kind of see where that has been clearancing itself as the day goes along so we'll have to fix that but I think tonight we're not we're not going to tear into any of that tonight so what we will do is we'll probably try and get some of the oil lines off of here oil pan off just so we can kind of see that let it start dripping a little bit more as you can see we have it's just messy a taking this mess. thing out of here it just it's a hot mess but it's okay it just doesn't work great trying to get this thing out of here it's it's not like there's no real low point drains where you can get everything but everything in here looks good frames not crack everything looks sharp there's the back side of the fuel cell right here so this is the fuel cell and then on this fuel cell the uh, shift linkage on this fuel cell the shift linkage goes right through the fuel cell we talked about that but we couldn't ever really get a camera to it so now you can see it but we got to a lot of parts and pieces that we haven't seen found some issues that that need to be fixed so so it's all good work that we're doing here and uh it's gonna be real nice to, to dip into this motor a little bit uh i don't think we've talked about it very much i've hardly done any engine work really any so all the race cars we had uh we'd send them off to majors motor they they do the work we put the motor back in in our class five it was the ecotech and we bought it from a wrecking yard we put it in and we never had to do anything with it but our whole plan was is if we ever had any kind of engine failure we were just going to go to the wrecking yard and buy another ecotech so um so this is all new for me kelly's rebuilt a couple motors but it's been what yeah 15 20 years probably 20 years so so luckily we have some help and uh we'll we'll kind of figure out what we're going to need to do here but we'll once we get that oil pan off we'll kind of show you what's inside there okay so tonight is one of those nights where we just make more and more of a mess so we didn't we were hoping to get the oil pan off but by the time we got the oil pump and all the lines and and leaking everywhere it just takes a while and we're trying to kind of clean stuff up a little bit um just so we're not getting stuff down the exhaust ports we're not if we took the pan off it's not in there so just kind of fought all that the shop's a hot mess so we're gonna do some cleaning here and we're gonna have to hit that next Thursday. So didn't get as far as we wanted tonight, but we do have an engine on a stand. So that's, it's not bad. I'm not disappointed. No, it's this, actually probably a realistic goal. That yeah. was a good goal. And we always kind of over, over, uh, what do you call it? Overestimate what we're gonna get yeah. done. I think we started at 8.30 or 8.45 and we got the motor pulled, so realistically that that was a, a good night okay so we got cleaned up kelly was over here looking at the motor and there's just been a few things so the the uh <laughs> yikes <laughs> so there's just been a few things this is super funny so we we had we had the cracks in the exhaust that wouldn't have made it another race um I don't know how much we really talked about it. So the reason we were getting so concerned is because towards the end of the race, we were really, the oil pressure was going down. So um, that's why we're thinking maybe the main bearings um, and we just need to tidy some of this up. Um, the whole time, Kelly and I, we've gone through everything on the car and we felt really comfortable about that. The motor from the transaxle forward to the motor, to the radiator, we didn't go through anything. And it's this car sat for a while and it's getting to be older so we were nervous and we went and raced and we got lucky and the more we kind of mess around with this the luckier we're feeling so this is this is from the oil pressure from the motor it goes up to both sending units yep so the gauge sending unit oil pressure and then this is for the motec um display and so mm -hmm. this feeds oil pressure so if this were to break 
it is going to pump all your oil out of your motor eventually. But it's it's done. So I think it was under here chafing on something maybe. Yep. It was kind of like this, I think, wasn't it, Brian? Yeah, it was actually pinned. There's another main oil line that runs from the sump or somewhere in the motor, I don't remember, all the way across to the top. And uh, it it was all zip tied in there together. So there's just a lot of parts on here that are getting older. And uh, well, and it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of one of those things that you want to just go through everything because yep. it takes such a beating. And parts can be older, right, Brian? But if you keep yes. take care of them and stuff, oil lines and stuff, of course, they need to be replaced. But a lot of the stuff just needs to be tidied up. We can do that. Yeah. The old Chevy bow tie. The bow tie block. Yeah, so feeling a lot better that this is out of here. We're going to take a couple weeks and make sure everything's gone through right. And like we said, we're going to have um, some help kind of determining exactly what we need to do with the motor. So pretty pumped. Uh, it's way too late in the evening and we're still... <laughs> We're, we kind of, with the shop cleaned up, I think we both feel a little bit better. And uh, we kind of started wanting to look this over. So it, it's pretty fun. This is just, uh, it's too cool we get to do this. And can't can't tell you how much we enjoy uh, doing this. We can't tell you how much we enjoy taking all of you along and, and all of you spending your time with us. So thanks. Thanks for everything. Like and subscribe. We'll talk to you later. You shake your head like that's stupid. Yeah.